Hello, uh, in this lecture we will be discussing about transistor stacking. When more than one transistor is in series in a CMOS circuit. Normally, uh, CMOS circuit consider a 4 input NAND gate. Uh, we use uh, 4 PMOS transistors and 4 NMOS transistors. The pull up network is made of uh, PMOS uh, transistors and pull down network is made of NMOS transistors. Uh, in pull-up network, all the four transistors are connected in parallel, whereas the pull-down network, all the four transistors are connected in series. So, now uh, read the statement, when more than one transistor is in series in a CMOS circuit. Uh, the, the example which we have taken uh, is matching this. The leakage current has a strong dependence on number of turned off transistors. This is known as known as sta transistor stacking or stack effect. Now consider this example. In this example, uh, four transistors are connected in series. This part, this part is four, four transistors are connected in parallel here which is called as pull-up network. In pull-down network, four transistors are connected in series. Consider the case uh, when the input is 0, 0, 0, 0. In that 0, 0, 0, 0 condition, four transistors are connected in series and all the transistors are turned off. Now read this uh, statement, previous statement. When more than one transistor is connected in series, in a SEMA circuit, the leakage current has a strong dependence on number of turned off transistors. This is known as transistor stack. Now, the leakage current in this case is depending upon drain to source voltage. When uh, it is depending upon the drain to source voltage, a simulated uh, results show that it is uh, 14 millivolts uh, here and this is 34 millivolts. Uh, this is 14 and this is 34 millivolts. This is 89 millivolts and this is 2.3 volts. So this, uh, these voltages, source voltages of the NMOS transistors in stack is represented by this diagram. Uh, source voltage means the difference between these two gives you source to drain voltage difference which, uh, which is the root cause for the uh, leakage current. So this voltage is, being, is uh, uh, slowly uh, decreasing to the last transistor and uh, when you consider the gate voltage, uh, normally the applied gate voltage is zero. Because of the substrate voltage, the gate to source voltage is becoming negative here in this case. The negative gate to source voltage will increase the uh, threshold voltage. Now, because large threshold voltage, obviously what we have discussed in the previous lectures is leakage current will redu get reduced. Now, the following are the three mechanisms come into play to reduce the leakage current. The first mechanism is due to the exponential dependence of threshold current, subthreshold current on gate to source voltage. See, gate to source voltage is VGS. VGS, uh, if th sub threshold voltage, if threshold voltage is very less, even for a small VGS also there will be sub threshold current. Sub threshold current is below threshold voltage there is a channel current that is called as sub threshold current. So, if threshold voltage is too high, then the sub threshold voltage will be very less because for larger gate to source voltage only sub threshold current starts playing. Uh, this uh, sub threshold voltage problem arises only when the threshold voltage of the device is very less. Now read that first statement due to the exponential dependence on the sub threshold current on gate to source voltage the leakage current is, current is greatly reduced because of negative gate to source voltages due to the exponential dependence of sub-threshold current on gate to source voltage. So the here the gate to source voltage is negative. In the previous case, gate to source voltage is negative. 
so that negative uh, gate to source voltage the leakage current is greatly reduced leakage current greatly reduced because of the minus a uh, negative gate to source voltage now the second point is the leakage current is also reduced due to body effect body effect is we apply substrate voltage substrate is reverse bias because of the reverse bias at the substrate the depletion width will increase as the depletion width will increase the leakage current will reduce this is called body effect the leakage current also reduces due to body effect because the body of all the transistors in reverse bias with this with respect to the source uh, the third uh, point that comes into play is as the source to drain voltages of all the transistors are reduced vds are reduced the sub threshold current due to drain induced barrier drain induced barrier lowering effect will also be lesser drain induced sub threshold voltage will also gets reduced uh, in this case in this gate stacking now you can see the leakage currents in nano amperes for uh, the case of three transistor uh, nand gate uh, three input nand gate if it is a three input nand gate the inputs are zero 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 then all the transistors all the three series connected transistors are in off now that current is nanoamps 0.095 nanoamp that is zero point 0.1 nanoamps 0.1 nanoamps okay when all the transistors are on all the three series connected transistors are on now in this case the leakage current has improved has raised to almost 10 amps that is 0.1 to 10 is 100 times larger so this is uh, this is uh, the effect of uh, gate stacking on the devices. Thank you.